everyone, welcome to the Final Cut, Mark the Movie Man here. And before we get started, a couple of things. Check me out on dncpodcast.com forward slash blog. Uh, and you can check out the website there. This Wednesday they will be posting the podcast I had the pleasure of being on. Now it is for mature audiences and not for the innocent of ears. So if you, you can't handle the vulgar jokes in that, you may want to avoid it. But those who, if you can, we had a real interesting discussion about the Avengers. We cussed and discussed other film I, uh, subjects and ideas. So check out dncpodcast.com forward slash blog for the podcast, which will be up Wednesday or on iTunes as well. Also check out the Bordello of Blood web show. Oh, that's the, the, it's great. The host, Freak Show Peterson and Cindy are on there. And every Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Central Time. And they feature low-budget horror films on the show. They host it. They give some information about it. And you can live chat with the hosts while the show is going on. A lot of fun there. And they're going to be featuring some of my reviews on that show. So you should check it out. Uh, they're actually a lot of very interesting and entertaining folks. And I think you'll enjoy it if you enjoy uh, this show at all. Okay, so check those things out. And finally, uh, thank you for the few people, very few people, that chimed into my live broadcast on Spreecast.com. Uh, did it last Friday. It's archived up there. I'll put the link down below in case you're interested to see how the live show went. And I've got another one coming up soon. I'll give more information on the channel and as well as I get that worked out. So a lot of fun things going on. Now on to today's show, which is the Battleship, the movie Hand around the world, okay? And it tells the story of uh, we've got the naval fleet and the U.S. and it's set in a world where they're going to send out a signal, a mass signal to the planet uh, that's most like Earth. They want to communicate with it, okay? Well, they get a response back from that planet in the form of a, a recon team of aliens who come crashing down to Earth into the oceans and that with really big ships trying to set up a large communication array so they can talk back to their fleet and come down and attack the world, okay? And mixed up in all this is our naval fleet, the U.S. Navy as well as uh, the Japanese Navy. They have a number of international naval uh, forces involved because there's some war games going on when the aliens land, okay? And it features uh, Taylor Kitsch as a lieutenant, uh, Alex Hopper, who's a, you know, he's a misfit, he's the naval officer that's at risk of getting kicked out of the Navy, you know, really just bad boy, can't really make good decisions. And then you have his brother, who's the model naval officer, Alexander Skarsgård, who are both on the ships that witness and take part in the battle with the aliens. So you've got that dynamic going on there. We've seen that before, okay? And uh, the bad boy, of course, is in love with the lovely Brooklyn Decker, uh, who's playing Samantha Shane, and she is the daughter of the Admiral, played by Liam Neeson. And so you've got that dynamic going on there. And then they, we've got Rihanna in there for some reason, playing a weapons officer. The Battleship movie... To say it was a fantastic film would be unfair to fantastic films, but to say it was a bad film would not be fair to it either, okay? I actually enjoyed a good chunk of the film, mostly when it didn't involve uh, the plots that they tried to put in, the human plots, the depth with their main characters, okay? I enjoyed the parts, of course, with Liam Neeson and Alexander Skarsgård because those guys can carry any scene that they're in. They're fantastic, and it was fun to see them on screen, okay? And it was fun to see a real veteran. Uh, one of the guys along with Brooklyn Decker uh, in her storyline is an actual real war veteran who lost his legs, okay, and he just he got in front of the camera, did a fun job, I loved his role in it, and I enjoyed all the supporting cast, his role, as well as all the supporting cast, more than I enjoyed the roles of the main actors. It sounds kind of funny, but it's true, I enjoyed seeing them. And the naval battles and special effects fighting with the aliens are a lot of fun as well. Now, they didn't go 3D with this, and you can tell the way it was shot. They could have gone that way, but they didn't, which was, I actually gave kind of props, okay, because, uh, and also glad that, because it meant less money to spend on uh, seeing the film. So give them props there for not going 3D with it. Battleship has some great action scenes. It has some fun action scenes with the battle, with the, seeing the Navy in action and fighting the aliens, okay? There's a lot of things wrong with it as well, as you've seen probably on other YouTube review shows. Much like ba Battle of Los Angeles was a send-up kind of a, 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 you know, to feature the Marines, this one is to feature the Navy, okay? And so that angle of it's done very well. And in the third act, it was fun that they used actual veteran naval officers, I believe some in their 90s or so, in the final uh, third act to help fight the aliens. So that part was cool as well, if you knew that part of it. So bits and pieces of Battleship, really fun. Lots of bits and pieces of it, 
not so much fun, okay? So, if I would say it's worth a rental, not really going out to the theater. I gave it two and a half stubs in the middle of the road, only because that's where it is. It, to say it was completely horrible would not be fair, but to say it's great either. So it's kind of middle of the road. So I would wait till it comes out on rental or video on demand, but if not, definitely only pay the matinee price for it. Not worth the full feature price at all. And if you haven't seen Avengers, go see that first, okay? And also, if you have any suggestions for this show or my live show, The First Take, or anything else that you'd like to discuss that you don't want to put a comment down bef below, but I encourage you to put a comment, check us out at thefinalcut.smp at gmail.com. That's the new uh, email address I have for the show. Send your comments and suggestions there that you have for the show, and I'll love to hear them, and I'll, I'll feature them as well, and we'll see what we can do to get those worked out. So, that's my show, folks. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep that ticket stuck.